building partnerships that invest in world-class facilities. Welcome to Chicago at Play. Personally, I've always had a great interest in history, um, and I started studying historic landscapes when I was in graduate school. So when I first came to the Chicago Park District, a lot of the history had not yet been documented, so most of these stories had not yet been told. So for me personally, it's just been a great passion to learn more and more about the Chicago Parks. Chicago Park District historian Julia Bachrock is known for her passion for Chicago Parks. She has authored the second edition of her popular book, The City in a Garden, that tells the stories behind many Chicago landscapes. So the first edition of the book came out in 2001, and that was very exciting, but um, nobody realized that at the time how much more would happen in the last 10 years. So there have been a tremendous number of restoration projects, all kinds of new park improvements. One of the things that's so interesting is that we have a collection of incredible historic photographs. And you just realize what a marvelous collection of parks we have in Chicago. The City in a Garden is a detailed look at some of the rich history and interesting anecdotes in the parks. So our original parks were kind of formed a circle of green that kind of encircled Chicago. And one of those parks was very large and it now is considered Jackson Park, Washington Park and the Midway Plaisance. Its original landscape designer was Frederick Law Olmsted, who had laid out Central Park in New York. And so he thought it was important to have this beautiful meadow, and he wanted it to be very rural and pastoral, and so in fact, every year they'd get a new flock of sheep that would graze freely, and it was just essentially to give that pe people that kind of feeling, um, but of course they also helped mow the lawn. at the turn of the century, the big issue was that hundreds of thousands of immigrants were settling in Chicago and, you know, tenement districts were quickly emerging and people were in need. One of the first park districts decided that they must do something to help these people in need. And they decided to design a whole new type of park that had never existed before that would include all kinds of social services, including public bathing, serving hot meals at a low cost, um, teaching people English. And so in order to accommodate this, they invented a whole new type of building that had never existed before, the field house. And we have some of the very first ones in parks such as Sherman Park and Hamilton Park. Julia has garnered widespread praise for her book about Chicago's commitment to its parks. A lot of people don't realize that, that Chicago has the most important park system in the country. Um, a lot of people think about the East Coast and some of the famous landscape architects that designed those parks. But in Chicago, we had such a long list of important people who created our parks. Um, a whole series of architects and landscape architects and artists and, and reformers, social reformers like Jane Addams, that we have really the most interesting and kind of marvelous collection of historic parks in the country. You can order the book online or purchase it in retail stores around the city. Julia is also holding book signings so you can meet this Chicago treasure up close and personal. I'm having the opportunity to give some presentations in conjunction with some book signing events and I will be doing one at the Garfield Park Conservatory on December 8th at 1 o'clock, completely free and open to the public. This book is very beautiful. It's of course a great gift for the holidays. So I hope people will read the book and it will inspire them to come and, and visit the parks and really have a chance to better understand the fact that many of our parks are living works of art.